Okay. Hello, welcome back. Here we are, once again. Let's rest. Great. Your command. Excellent. Of course. It's gonna move on. And oh, look, more trolls. Mm. Turned out a lamb on my end. It's really loud. Now, luckily, these ice trolls don't—they don't need a uh, fire or poison to to kill. I already mentioned that, but it's worth mentioning. Let him cast a spell. Oh, okay. Here's a bad boy right here. Let's get you your fire sword. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's doing it again. <laughs> get out of there. Okay. So let's pick up these gems. Mmm, gems. So if you notice, there's lots of dead uh, humanoid bodies lying around. Uh, we'll find out shortly why. We will find out. Okay. Your command. Forward. Let's go. This is action. Near death. All right. Okay. Now there's there, there, there's several. Actually, I think there's a, there's another dungeon over here. I was only. Thinking that there was one on the way, but there there is another one over here. I think it's the troll caves, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So we can go over here. Oh no, we have to fi we have to fix this. Uh, the bridge may uh, is in poor shape and may collapse. You cannot cross it. Um, Let me know what you want. if I remember correctly, we have to. Didn't I save them? Um. Hmm. No, no, I did not give it to the to the gnome. Speak your mind. Okay. Of course. I think uh, somebody will. Oh God! What's going on here? Look, we got Ettens. Horrible looking beasts. I'll tell you that. Oh my god, what's going on here? Some serious lag. You want a taste of this? All right. Uh oh. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. Nice. See what you got here. More gems. It's an absolute haven. Oh God. I need to like figure out what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Why is it so laggy? I don't know. I need to get a new PC. That's what I need to do. 
I'm going to get one someday. But today is not that day. <laughs> we might as well explore the rest of this uh, before we head on. So here's a bridge here. Mm -hmm. Little bridge. Little bridge, little snow. Little snow on the bridge. Slippery when wet. Oof. Okay. I should save. It's a good idea. Wise decision. Okay. Oh, look. More friends. Let's get you some minute meteors. God. It's fucking laggy. Hmm. Mm. No, we'll just make a quick work of these guys. What is it? That's the way I like it, really. You know, these guys have been through a lot. You know what I mean? Ready. Done. They should know how to handle this stuff by now. At least I think. That's just me. Um... Then who am I, right? I'm just a, I'm just a pleb. Very well. We're all just plebs, aren't we? Oh, hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? Hmm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't you start doing that. Oh, God. What happened to him? He was burned to death or something, I guess. It's weird, man. It's weird looking. Must be charred or something, right? Anybody want some charred troll? Yes, agreed. Okay. Why don't we go, though, our... Our enemy's brow. Oh, you look yetis! Glacier led yetis. Haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, so we might as well just. I think it's probably worth clearing all this out before we uh, move on. Before we get going, you know what I mean? Oh, look, he's encumbered as a motherfucker. He's encumbered as a motherfucker. So, for some odd reason, the Yetis actually carry Speak your mind. gems on them. Can we maybe, I don't know, use some spells here? I never take advantage of them, you know, I mean, I'm always afraid. Boom. Oh god, get out of there. <laughs> My duty is clear. Hey, where you going? Mm. That yet he didn't have a gem on him. That's a fucking ripoff. Bastard. You bastard. Give that to the wizard. So I know where it is. You know what I mean? Alright. 
thought she's gonna have a gem. Oh no, I was wrong. Yes, onward. This is a cool looking structure here. I always thought that about this. This this one does have a gem on him. A king's tear. Poor king. No, no, not you. For you. Speak your mind at once. Yeah, I, don't know, I always thought that was a cool looking sprite. That's oh god. Nice. Whatever, look, we'll just do this. Not be so tiggy schmeeky about it. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Speak your mind. Lots of mobs here, man. Lots of mobs. Oh god. There it is. Mm. Hey. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing with your life? Well, you think that's okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is this not working? Oh, I got that selected, that's why. It's just like, what the fuck? You go. Okay. Very well. I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> Still more. Fuck. <laughs> I thought that was it. end up hitting myself more than I actually end up hitting the enemies. Well, oh, I, hit, I hit us both, to be fair. I look more. What a surprise. Well, that didn't work out the way I planned. I just ended up burning us. My god. Okay. So we got the loot. We're gonna put it in the bag. Gonna make a pretty penny off all these gems, man. I said, there you go. Okay. So that's just coming up here is just experience, that's all. That's all that is. So there's also a southern part down here as well. So we'll go down there, I guess. I guess.
gas if I have to. I'm gonna tell you what, we're just gonna go straight in here. Okay, and we're gonna rest up and then go. Strange how they're just all sitting up there, you know what I mean? It's like, what, what's the purpose of that? <laughs> Don't ask. It's a video game. You're fucking up if you start asking questions like that, right? Okay. Save the game. Get some rest. Yes. Save the game. Okay. So we're going to see why there are so many uh, corpses outside here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, so we have some creatures here. Frost salamanders. Not know you. What you want here? I'm here to see your leader. You want to see uh, Kerish? He leader. Yes, take me to him. I greet you. I am Keras, leader of the Salamander. Who are you? I am a simple traveler. A traveler? Forgive me, but I doubt you are a traveler. No simple vagabond could uh, journey here unscathed. No. You are more than you seem. A spy, perhaps? Come to check on me. Yes. He has been known to hire those for your, uh, of your race. Why is he sent to you? Uh... I am a traveler, however, if you choose to believe otherwise. Very well, play your game of deception, but know you this. I am. I know your master. In time, I will have an answer. If not from you, then from him. So tell me why you're here. Uh, questions. Uh, who are you? I'm curious, leader of the salamanders as well, uh, as you well know. Okay. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm awaiting orders as instructed and nothing else. What do you ask? If someone reported otherwise, am I suspected of something? You seem nervous. Why? Of course I am nervous. I know who you serve and therefore have a good reason to be. Can we get on with the questioning? Okay. Uh... Why are the dead bodies uh, strewn about here? The slaves, they revolted. We had to slay most of them. A few managed to escape the, to the level below. How did they manage to escape you? The room below suddenly became too hot to bear. We had to flee back here or perish. In the confusion that followed, the slaves bolted for the stairs. A few made it, but their freedom will not last long. They're trapped down there. And how so? The exit to the surface is locked, so they have nowhere to run. Also, they have no supplies, nor do they have the means to gather any, since I have trolls patrolling the glacier. Eventually, they will uh, star they will starve or return to us. All we have to do is wait. Hmm. It occurs to me that I could use your aid in this matter. The trolls you mentioned attacked me on the way here. My apologies, they are not the most intelligent or observant creatures. It is possible that they mistook you for an escaped slave. Hmm. I see. You mentioned needing my help. What is it that you think I can help, I can do for you? The slaves are of no consequence to me. They will return to us, or they will die. However, the leader of this revolt has made me look bad in the eyes of my people. For this, he must pay. Go to these slaves and gain their confidence. Once you have ga once you gain that confidence, find their leader and slay him. I'll consider it. Very well. Take some time to think about this. Come to me if you change your mind. All right, I'll say farewell. Feel free to look around. So this is like... Oh, God, we're getting hurt. Because uh, they have a... They have an AOE effect. These are frost salamanders. So this is some kind of aquarium. Uh, the frozen pool contains a giant squid. Looking at the creature, you can see how Tales of the Sea Monster got started. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's like some sort of... Uh, some sort of aquarium. It's, it's it's all very strange. What's an aquarium doing out here in the middle of nowhere, right? I believe it formed part of uh, Dorn's Deep. I think we're able to find that information somewhere in here, I think. I think someone tells us. 
Ow. So we're going to try to find the, the entrance to where these slaves are being held. Or, well, where they're trapped, really. Ow. Very, very strange place. Uh, this panel has several rows of indicators, some of which uh, pulsate with, soft, with a soft glow. To each side of the panel are large tanks connected by a series of pipes. Two of the leftmost tanks glow with warmth. The remaining tanks appear to be non-functional. Okay. We're going to have to keep this place in mind. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a therm kind of thermostat, basically. Kind of kind of a spoiler but come on let's go I can't remember where these people are it's been so long I mean, it's only been about I guess well, I guess about two years since I since, since I played this. I don't know. I guess I, don't know, I, can't, I can't remember. Ah, here it is. Duh. The frozen pool contains two sharks. Their stance is almost like life, as if they were frozen mid in uh, mid stroke. Okay, so down we go. All right. I said down we go. Thank you. All right, here comes somebody. Oh, I thought he was going to talk to us. Who do we need to talk to? Mm -hmm. Must be over here. This guy. This guy. Yes, Gareth. Greetings, I'm Gareth. Oh, my. You're armed and armored. Have you come to return us to slavery? Now I'm not here to, to enslave you. Thank the gods. And perhaps you would agree to help us. We are in, desperate, uh, in a desperate situation. What's wrong? The people you see here are all slaves. Recently we escaped our masters and fled here to, the, uh, to this room. Who enslaved you? I believe they're called frost salamanders. They have humanoid torsos, reptilian heads, and serpentine uh, tails. They have an aura of cold about them and seem to thrive here in the glacier. I see, so how did you manage your escape? This is a long tale, will you listen? Sure. Very well, we were held captive in the building directly above this one. It appears to be some sort of museum. There are numerous display cases showing specimens of aquatic life, all of which have succumbed to the cold of the glacier and frozen solid. Uh-huh. Uh, there was one room within the museum the salamanders avoided. And we were ordered never to enter there, so naturally we began to wonder why. We did our best to try to, to try and sneak in to see what uh, what the, salamand the salamanders feared, but with little success. Finally, a woman named Vera managed to do it. Okay, what'd she find? Ancient machinery, really old stuff, most of it in ruin. However, there was one device that emitted a soft glow and warmth. Vera realized that the warmth must be why the salamanders avoided the area. Uh, she also concluded the displays in the museum had not always been frozen. Perhaps this machinery what, uh, was what kept the cold at bay in the past. Interesting. Please continue. Vera felt that this was the chance of a lifetime. There was no way to know if, the, uh, if either she or anyone else would ever gain access to this room again, so she decided to take action. She began to fiddle with the dials and knobs until suddenly an indicator began to pulse with a steady light. At once the room filled with a warm glow and the hum of power. Quietly, she returned to tell us of her discovery. I see. So what happened? At first, nothing. For days we waited. I was expecting the temperature to rise, but it never did. We have finally given up hope then. Uh, when, just yesterday, a commotion started and the salamanders fled this room in a flurry of confusion. The viewer saw this as our chance at freedom. Uh, we could not allow the salamanders' time to reorganize and cut off our access to this room, so she yelled for all of us to run down uh, the stairs that led, us, uh, that led here. Many died in the attempt. We are the few who survived. If only Vera were here. Uh, so what's the desperate situ situation? We have no food or water. 
We are in the heart of enemy lands. We will surely die if we stay here. The maddening thing is, we have to uh, discover another exit that leads back to the surface, but it is locked and we do not have the key. The salamanders probably have it. Yes, we believe uh, that Kirish, or Kirish, the leader, has the key. Will you recover it for us? Yeah, I can get the key for you. Your bravery and compassion are beyond compare. I do not know what to say other than thank you, which seems hardly enough under the circumstances. Please, recover the key quickly. Our fate is in your hands. All right. So we could try to fiddle with that machinery. I think we should. Sounds like a good idea. If you can fiddle with it, I, I can't remember if you can or can't. Of course. Didn't look like we could. Yeah, there's nothing really to click on in here. So the so there's there's different ways you can get the key. Uh, one of the ways is you can actually try to to to, to pickpocket the key off of uh, off the salamander uh, leader. Okay, so yeah, we can't fiddle with this any longer. Okay, that's unfortunate. It would have been kind of cool to to have the opportunity to. <laughs> To just boil the salamanders alive. Let's raise the temperature in here all of a sudden. They just all melt. Not melt, but they all die, you know. That would be cool. But alas. Let's see if I can rest over here. I don't know, there's fucking salamanders all over the place. See if we can do it. Okay, we did it. Fucking stupid salamanders. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here, and uh, next time, well, we're gonna deal with the salamanders one way or another. I seem to remember there being a way to to turn on that. Turn on this device over here. I just can't remember how to do it. I vaguely remember these these pools of water uh, being unfrozen later on, and I don't know. And I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys then.